So if you've been using dynamic forms to customize your lightning record pages, then you know that using filters for these different components can be super powerful because it allows you to show and hide different components based on a criteria. Now, one of the things we couldn't do before is add filters to tabs within your lightning record page. And so if you wanted to do that, you'd have to add a completely new tab component to your page layout, then add the filter to the component itself, which would host all of the tabs within that component. And so you'll end up with separate components rather than just one component with different tabs. Now this is about to change. In Summer 24 pre-release environment, which I'm about to show you in a second, we can actually add the filters directly to the tab of the tab component rather than have to add different components to our page, which is a really, really good improvement. So I wanna jump into Salesforce and show you exactly what I mean. Just in case you have access to a pre-release org yourself and you're trying to do this and it's not working, I also have a solution for that. So if we go to the cogwheel and click edit page, essentially just to go to our lightning app builder, um, get rid of this little pop-up. So we already have a tab here. This is a tab component. We can see that on the right-hand side, it says tabs. And then I have a tab called details already in this component. And if you click on that, you can see that there is no option to add any filters to this just yet. So in case you are in the summer 24 pre-release environment and you're seeing the same thing, there is a way around this. What you need to do is let's come out of this. Let's go into setup. And then in setup, we want to search for mobile and you want to click on Salesforce mobile app. Now in here, you want to enable dynamic forms on mobile. So we we'll go ahead and enable that. And by the way, don't give me credit for this. I found this solution in the community. I will post a link directly to the source on the description of the, this video in case you want to have a look at it yourself. Um, that's one of the great benefits of being part of the community. Um, okay, so if we go back to the front end, what I'll do is I'll hit a quick refresh and I'll go back to that lighting app builder we were just at. And now if I click on the tab component and then click on the tab, you can see that this has completely changed and I can now actually add the filter directly on my tab. Now, one really interesting thing that I'd like to point out, this is in my opinion, I think this is pretty interesting. We have just enabled dynamic forms on mobile and now we're able to add a filter to our tabs. But if you look closely, our lightning record page is not dynamic yet. Oh, Salesforce. So this isn't a dynamic page. Um, you can see that because the details component is just one whole component rather than separate components. Um, we don't have the dynamic functionality just yet. We're still being prompted to actually upgrade to dynamic. Um, and we haven't done that yet. And so that's fun. But anyway, moving on. So what I'm going to do is add a new tab and I'm going to call this problem because this is a bit of a problem, to be honest. And then I'm going to add a filter to it. So I'm going to select type and I only want this tab to be visible when the type field on my case record equal problem. And so I'll click done. And now I'm going to save this. Now I've been prompted to say changes have been saved here on the top right. So I know this has been saved. Now I'm going to back out to the front end. And you can see that on the right hand side, I've got my details tab. There is no filters on this tab. My type field is empty. So I'm going to go ahead and select problem. And then when I hit save, I still don't see my tab. Where is my problem tab? I still can't see it. I wonder if it's because my tab is actually empty. There is nothing on my tab. So to play around with this a little bit more, I'm going to go back to my lightning record page and my tab has actually now completely disappeared, which is really interesting. So I'm just going to try this again. I'm going to select, I'm going to create another tab. I'm going to add a filter to it. The value will be problem. Everything is grayed out, which is really interesting. I'm going to click done. So my tab exists. I'm actually going to add something onto 
to this tab just to try it out. So I've added something here. I'm going to click save. It has been saved. So now I'm going to go back to the front end and see just what the hell is going on. So I can see my tab now. This is a test. Everything's there. I'm going to change the type value to something else. And my tab has disappeared. So you need to have a component in your tab. If your tab is empty, it's just not going to work. That's interesting. Although I guess you wouldn't make a tab and not put anything in it. So it kind of makes sense, but something to keep in mind, at least this is how it's working right now. If my type field is empty, so there is no value, that won't be displayed as well. And so it's basically only displayed when I get that criteria, which is the value needs to equal problem. Now, if I go back to my lightning app builder that is actually showing here it's a bit interesting that all these values are grayed out i'm not sure why that is maybe it's a bug but it does seem to be working so i'm gonna make another tab custom and i am going to call this one question i'm gonna add a filter again it's gonna be the type field and now Wow. Okay. Hold on a second. I can't, can't seem, oh, there it is. Okay. It was a bit buggy, but all right. Now, okay. Now I can see things. This seems a little bit buggy, but let's just go with it. So now I'm going to change this value to question. Let's see how that works. Okay. So I've got two tabs here. I'm going to add something again to my, um, to my tab, I guess I can just add another rich text. There's no harm in that. And then I'm going to hit save. So that's being saved. Let's go back to the front end and let's change this to question. And that has been changed. So the tab visibility does seem to be working, even though it's a little bit buggy. Or maybe it's just me, who knows. But one thing I want to point out is that we are not um, using a dynamic uh, functionality here. This isn't dynamic at all. We can still upgrade to dynamic forms. We can still upgrade to the dynamic actions here on the top. This is a standard lighting record page. And yet I can use tab visibilities by enabling a dynamic setting for mobile. I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that this new addition to the visibility filter lets you design an amazing lightning record page to improve user experience. Until next time.